Proper firefighter rehabilitation is a critical component of personnel health and safety. Be it during emergency operations or in the training ground, it is imperative that rehabilitation occurs. The new NFPA 1584 guidelines provide a science-based process to ensure rehabilitation is properly conducted. The DMS Rehabilitation Accountability System utilizes this process to enable departments to establish a 1584 compliant rehab area and effectively conduct and document the rehabilitation process. The key component of the DMS system is the member accountability tag. It is fully NFPA 2050 compliant and is designed to withstand adverse elements. The tag's easy-to-use design provides a by-the-numbers workflow to simplify the rehabilitation process. The member check-in receipt ensures all personnel are accounted for while in the rehab area. The baseline medical assessment detects and documents abnormalities. The rest and recovery section ensures proper rehabilitation protocols are followed. The pre-release assessment documentation ensures firefighters are fit to return to duty. And the member release receipt provides the required release documentation for firefighters leaving the rehab area. As companies enter the rehab area, rehab tags and a company log is utilized. The check-in receipt is removed from the tag and relative firefighter information is documented. The tag is then placed on the firefighter while the receipt is affixed to the log. Each log sheet is identified by incident and crew. As more crew members enter rehab, the process is repeated. Crew members then undergo a baseline assessment to confirm and document they do not exhibit abnormal symptoms and that their vitals are within established protocol limits. Crew members with positive outcomes may proceed to the next step. The rest and recovery section of the tag ensures proper rehab protocols are followed and documented. After the required time interval, the crew member may proceed to the next steps. The pre-release assessment, although optional, ensures each member has been re-evaluated and is fit to return to duty. Crew members with positive outcomes may proceed to the release step. Before a member leaves the rehab area, the tag's release receipt is removed and completed to comply with 1584's release documentation requirements. The receipt's unique alphanumeric number is then used to associate it with the corresponding check-in receipt and affix next to it in the company log. The same process is used as other crew members are released. As a final step, the rehab tag is removed and retained by the rehab manager. The tag's unique number and receipt process provides HIPAA compliance because the member's name is not on the rehab tag and the member's medical information is not on the receipt. The tag provides two opportunities to determine if the member should be closely monitored before release. In the event local protocols prescribe close monitoring, the back of the tag is utilized. Symptoms for cold and heat are easily documented, as well as prompts to consider if a member should be released to EMS for transport or close monitoring. A close monitoring documentation area provides documentation of care provided and a reassessment of vitals to determine if the member should be placed back into rehab. If a member is diverted to treatment by EMS, this is indicated on the receipt, which is then placed in the log. Members being transported retain their tag so downstream caregivers have patient care history. The Rehab Manager portfolio provides organized access to new tags, logs, and clipboards and ensures used tags are not misplaced. Large reference sheets ensures rehab managers have the tools and information necessary to effectively perform rehab to 1584 standards. The upper reference sheet includes the Rehab Manager's Job Action Sheet with position responsibilities and priorities, a workflow diagram to ensure rehab area sections are properly established, the entire 1584 guideline to serve as a reference and learning tool for new and veteran rehab managers, a timer chart for recommended rest and recovery periods, a relative index chart to determine apparent temperatures at a glance, a national wind chill chart and calculator for cold environments, and a CO side effects diagram to assist rehab personnel of CO poisoning symptoms based on percentage. The lower reference sheet provides a simple quick start guide to allow any resource assigned to the rehab manager position to perform the check and release functions effectively. A heat illness reference box identifies the five types of heat illnesses and their symptoms sticky note style pads of weather conditions to ensure rehab procedures match the environment. 
a smartphone QR code provides quick access to current local conditions if a weather station is not available, and a Humidex index and QR code calculator to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. The 1584 Rehab System from TMS.